So here I'm going to show you how to program the AVR on the Bohr board. To do so, you're going to need to short those two pins there in an order. So how you do this is with the board plugged into the USB and computer, we short these first two pins. You can use a piece of wire. I'm using a pair of sharp tweezers I had. And that bottom two pins labeled boot, you just keep shorted. While they're shorted, you toggle the other two pins. And again, you can use anything, wire, or screwdriver. And this resets the AVR and puts it into the special programming mode. All right, and you can take out the other tweezers. Now that it's in the programming mode, you might have to install drivers the first time this happens, but what will occur is that it's going to enumerate as a new device. And this new device will just say the 1890 USB 162. So if that's working, you can run the Atmel Flip software. If you're on Windows and it'll look like this, there's other options for Mac and Linux. And we hit that button, we select the device, hit OK. And then this button here is select a connection type, you hit USB. And there we go, it says USB on, so it's connected. We go file, load hex buffer, and then you select the firmware. So in this case, I'm loading special firmware for doing AVR programming. Um, you can use this to get updated firmware or whatever else. Once it's hit, once it's loaded, you just hit run. Um, a window should pop up. So in this case, I had to hit it again. There you go. And it takes a second and you'll see in the bottom there, verify pass. And you just hit start application. And that's it. So that's how you program the AVR on the Bora board using the flip protocol.